I think you're okay with that. There's no point. Let's just put it this way. If you decide to go to a different lane, you'd lose out on too many creeps to make it worth it. So they're just going to stick with this lane stage. Sure, they ideally wanted to have SF against the Underlord, but they didn't get the matchup they wanted. If they were to oh, swap great. it now, they could lose. Bloody Nine is going to get the first strength blood of the for Dog Champ. Yep, the Lich just beating this Morana up with the Frost Blast spam. Still holding on to a couple extra mangoes. And Arteezy, they played every single matchup under the sun. This ain't easy for them. Of course, in the top lane as well, getting a bit of poke onto speed. He's trying to retaliate for a kill onto Crit, but he's getting slowed up by the Blood Grenade. Does get the Firestorm out, however, not another connection onto Crit. Bloody Nine coming into the rescue, but the Spear is going to finish off speed. Saberlight getting to impale the Underlord. All that armor, at least on the scales of this, uh, this Pit Lord. It just gets blown up in the bottom lane. Also chasing here. DNM dropping very low on HP. And that's going to be Fly to pick up yet another kill. And Rebellion already getting away with this laning stage. I'm super worried about DNM here. But he in he does too. not have any CS. It's crit. Tries to go for the deny. Doesn't work out. All right, I'm worried for every lane now, unfortunately. Mid lane is the one that's going the best here. Uh, yep, they are number one in the entire DPC for courier kill average. As we're fighting in the top lane at the same time in the arena being used, Arrow will not connect by crit, but Bloody Nine is low, so is speed. Brute comes out, moves, looking for the blast off, actually used up already, as they will get Saberlight, they will get Fly. They're gonna find two kills for themselves and Bloody Nine coming out of the trees. Two more sec seconds for the stick to be available. Frost Blast is there to be used, and crit will go down without a deny. Moves getting the double kill. They are very low on HP, but they lose no heroes. Red 2 now fighting against Abed. He'll just push himself on the edge of that. They need to get this kill quick because uh, they are sending in back up here. He's trying to TP away, and he's going to get that too. Goes back home, and that mine inside the fountain. Not going to do enough damage. Arteezy loading up the Requiem, but there's the Rolling Thunder. Got stuck there for a second with the shield crash, which was very interesting as an interaction, but he wasn't feared up by it at all. Moose dead, so oh, is Crit. He didn't get this wand off. Chased. <laughs> And of course, Saberlight also taking a piece of that action, but the right click from the Shadow Fiend from Arteezy will get the second kill. Crit probably kicking himself a little bit after that one. He had a carry. He's playing Wind Ranger. This is not a hero that can just go hit jungle creeps like a Terrorblade or some Naga. He's got to kill Arteezy. You want to win he's your trying, lane. He's trying to fake going bait. away, and that's actually a really good bait from DNM as he moves away and they get the connection, but they need this kill. Focus fire there, and Arteezy down. Fly's going to be following huge. suit as well, and speed coming in with that portal. Make sure that they will get that kill. And he teleports straight to mid to help that tower stay up for a while as Abed was pressuring. Going to get the oh, Dome the tower by Abed, and not throwing in the ulti just quite yet. Waiting for the Rolling Thunder. Void Spirit just taking a calm. He's still got an astral got step, but he might frost. have to use an Abed. Finally gets the dodge out. But Bloody Nine, not gonna be close enough. And Red 2 looking for the kill, but the Estral step once again from Abed gets him to safety. Marana will die under the tower, and the lasso as well onto the Lich as that flame break will connect. And they will get Bloody Nine out of the Red way. Two. Red 2, he's got Swashbuck already. Needs a perfect connection. It's not enough damage. One more hit. Oh, he still needs one more on top of the one more. And it's not gonna be enough. Red 2 is not a Swashbuck already. And Abed, all oh, is assimilated. Oh, oh. Getting schooled, getting outplayed. Red 2 gonna get killed by Fly at this pace. No connection he gets the kill oh abed master class void spirit right there class mars there not even dropping the arena just doing the skewer back well not a skewer pretty much like a skewer though the <laughs> the spear backwards acts <laughs> just I mean, he like got, he skewer, got skewered by the spear i mean or technically it's a fa yeah it's technically a fair thing to say and arteezy uh -oh. does he want to do this oh red Red 2 also dying at the same time as the fight in top. Arteezy under the Arteezy. tower going through Bloody Nine. Requiem just in time. Surviving for the kill, DNM. Oh, his right clicks are getting blocked by the arena. Oh, got arrow arrowed. connecting from crit. Oh, DNM. Oh. That was all calculated by Arteezy there, right? Like, one hit from death gets it all back with the mask or one. Be okay with that. But until he gets that level 15, I'm not so sure he wants to push any tier twos in this game, unless they can manage to get some kills first. And Lich, oh, he oh, got hit by an oh. arrow. Uh oh, uh oh, RTZ <laughs> misses the first raise there by a couple pixels, but doesn't matter. Doesn't mind about it too much. Still getting the kill. 
Crit was hoping to find uh, somebody else with that arrow, maybe Red too, but I was like, oh, guys, I found a, found a casual lich here in the tree line. Right, helping me out here. DNM trying to make a run for it. Crit coming out, blocking his ex escape with the arrow, and Saberlight to follow it up with the arena spear. And there goes the wind. Speed coming back for some bit of vengeance here onto this Mars. Red 2 slowing him down. Rolling Thunder available. And he's going to get locked up in these stairs. There's nowhere this Mars is going to be going. No survivability remaining after that. So it will be a trade-off one for one. But again, the carry DNM not getting to play this game. Speed, however. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Last um, Requiem combo. Okay. Forces Second. him backwards into his team. I guess that'll just secure the kill. Maybe Ovid coming out from the other direction. RTZ left alone. That might be able to get through that Aegis. They finally got speed out of the way. RTZ coming in back for round number two. Stunning. Oh, he got hit Pango. by an arrow. Crit. Beautiful arrow connection once again. Locking down this Pango. And Moose is also going to be in trouble. Ovid just chasing him under. At least forcing him away for the time being. And maybe going through the aggressive dive. Yes, he does. Of course he does. That Wisdom Rune moves. He's got his sights on it, but he will be able to pick it up just before that Flame Break connects from Fly. Bloody Knight going to get killed under the tower by RTZ. And Fly, he's not done with the chase. And moves. he doesn't get the connection. Abed's already juked them around. They have no vision there. He did actually have the Watcher there, but still Abed able to walk out and still alive. Abed 5-0. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to finish that reference. Dog champ uh, in a bit of trouble right now, trying to shield up this tower. Speed coming out from the side, gonna get caught by the remnant orbit already one step ahead. Steps away. He's got the. Oh, DNM will go down here. Oh, poor DNM. The wheels falling off entirely here for Dog champ. It's ten thousand gold lead. I... And uh, again, it, it's sad to see, but it feels like Dog champ mentally they don't know what to do anymore. They need yeah, to regroup. Disappointment in Fear's voice. <laughs> it's like, Dude, yeah, here comes the TPs. Uh -oh. All timing is going to be tough. Albert's already rushing head for head first with a gem. He smoked And in now there. they got the focus fire off, but Albert's already here. Mine's going to be scouting him out. Moose will locate him, dissimilate. Not into the pit, but close to it. Underworld coming up to the pit as well. The oh, where'd he go? There. Flight's gonna go down, and the rose taken by oh, Ahmed. He goes in for the steal with the help of Saberlight. The Red 2 inside the arena right now with that Rolling Thunder, and they're gonna isolate the Mars. Mars gonna go down, so even with the Aegis, they will lose two heroes, but the cheese taken for the techies. Dog Champ still not done. Red no 2, way. oh, crit, these arrows, this guy, absolute arrow. Bloody Nine trying to bait Shadow Fiend to the high ground here. A couple mines will explode, but he will keep his life intact. Red 2, Bloody Nine both down. Moo is going to be the next one to drop unless he forces out the cheese. He doesn't want to use it now. He okay, did. He's going to have to. He's going to pop oh, it. No, he's going to die anyway. later. He's still dead. Yeah, maybe you save that cheese. I think that could have made a big difference in the next fight. Throw that on your Pango. Everything making him feel much more mortal. These auras only last for so long as far as their value. But you see Speed teleporting away and sees yeah, his but he time sees bloody nine. Yep, and RTZ is baiting them at the top lane. He's going to get caught and he's going to need some backup too. Does get the Requiem. Bloody nine already down. RTZ stunned up but does have that BKB and now he goes in. Deals out that damage. Crit going to be caught as well on the back lines. Burning down slowly. Arteezy's BKB also running out. He's going to need some backup from Abed. And here comes Saberlight. Arena. Beautiful one. Catches two. DNM going to get the damage with that focus fire. Mars trying to turn his front towards this uh, Wind Ranger. Keeping himself alive for a bit longer. But Moose going to go down. And Saberlight still holding his ground. Forcing DNM away with that spear. And RTZ turning around towards Speed. Speed trying to get out. But no Ogre Seal totally for of... you. Your fate is sealed. And so is Red 2's and Rebellion march to the high ground. And with no buybacks on Underlord and Pango, how much damage can Rebellion do here? You are for sure losing this lane of Rax, but you might lose mid on top of this. It's a real possibility here if you can't... Especially if your Lich dies here, it's all, but he doesn't care with this Aegis. That's Lich gone for 43 seconds. And one, Saberlight really feeling himself. Maybe too Fire much, Power perhaps. Shot's also available, but it's only a level <laughs> one, so it's just going to right-click him down. Sure. Lane of Rags already secured. Great. All right, no what's arrow. their plan here? Really getting outplayed, but that's fine. But they're making some good plays here, and of course, when things they're happen like this. They're keeping it competitive, this, yeah. 
Red Red two two gonna gonna right the the fly, but the root comes out as well. Red two gonna stand his ground. Underlord finally showing off those big auras fly. He doesn't really have the damage required to kill Red two, or does he? Trying his best at least, and the ogre seal totem finishes him off out of all things. Getting that bit of extra damage and flying it down the arena, placed down as well. Abed low on HP, still hasn't died this game. 15 seconds for the Aegis, they finally get him through. And that really playing with fire here, but speed out of mana. And they're running out of resources on both ends. EM brought back in with that portal. Inskate is there, crit. The hunt, bloody nine also shows up. Oh, hello, there's a crit still by here. Was a bit surprised oh, that there's a sudden lich coming out of nowhere, but Arteezy coming in and he's gonna secure these kills. Make sure that they both fall. Red 2 trying to fight back, but Red 2 just dies in his ult. And there comes the next challenger. It's gonna be Moose on RTZ. He still doesn't give a hoot. And still fighting back with Moose. Low on HP, pulling speed back into the arms of RTZ. That's gonna be a double for him. And Moose, he's gonna be the last hero fighting all the way to the end versus Crit. Throws out the arrow from the Yules, and that will be a secured team wipe. 42 kills and 20, 420, whatever you wanna call it. 4220. The number. 25 Can confirm, Artizi does not give <laughs> yeah. any hoots at this point in this game. With Davilis online and the MKB. This man has built an it BKB, but that is the only defensive item he really has here. I guess you could argue Hurricane Pike, but that gives so many offensive capabilities here. That he just hurts. And you talk about the Underlord Aura, and this is another beautiful thing about the Shadow Fiend hero. His base damage isn't really high. Most of the damage he get is plus damage as they will tap out. They don't want to play against the Mega Creeps here. They realize this game is over. Arteezy is too farmed. You can't deal with Abed. And you can't really find an avenue to get back into this game. Sometimes the Void Spirit here. And so far, Abed, he's making it work. And he wants to as well. Yeah, he's losing two damage from Whirling Death. Maybe he had multiple whirling death stack. Probably the, yeah, I think he had two of them on top of him. There, there it is. Yeah, now he's there on the 60. Meanwhile, <laughs> Arteezy <laughs> does find himself a first blood, making the more uh, impactful play and taking down this Dark Willow. The first kill going for Just take our own. Uh, it's always the decision that you kind of have to make because you want to help yeah. your mid out, which right now, uh, Abed needs a bottle refill. Red 2 is going to get the arcane. No, he's not. We're going to take that back as Crit takes it away. And that's a level 5 Void Spirit, so no Astral Step available. Bloody Knight coming with the assistance. Moose is going to get killed by Abed, and they will get the Crit trade-off. That's the oh, first yeah. kill for Doc Champ. A trade of position 4, sir. So Wisdom Rune should now be going 1-1. One to one. Most likely, unless you want to get in some crazy positioning here for Bloody Nine. They could beeline oh, for it. Rain, though. <laughs> okay. That's pretty big. 1v2 getting a kill. Yeah, that's always good. Great going back oh, in. Make it well. 1v3 now. Crit's also here. Abed. Red 2 can survive here. Oh, black grenade. Chakra. Oh, oh he went in. Oh, wait. Ooh, he went in. He could have gone out, but he decided here. to be the more aggressive part and go in. And you have to pay for this life for it. Moose battling it out versus Crit here. Here comes Abed for the backup. Shadow Realm is there. Root coming out. Crit regenerating. Crit the surviving. Disarm. Oh, Dog Champ, nothing going their way. But it's Rebellion, they're happy. Again, the same things happen from last game. Bloody Nine, Nine. he's going to get killed too by Fly. And Rebellion just taking wins all over the board. Wars right now. A lot of traffic coming into mid. Abed, bottle refill as crit comes in as well. Trying to bait out Red 2. They know from that last aggressive play that Red 2, he wants to go for these and he will. Oh, they, they got him remnant there. connection. Has another astral step. Just a bit more extra damage needed to get the kill. Does get the dodge out from the last off. Finally gets the kill. And here comes the blast off. I mean the blast. The chain frost from Fly. But it's bouncing all the way back to Moon. Yeah, it's and definitely he's blasting down off though. That's for sure. That chain frost. <laughs> it certainly was. Red 2 though. Maybe a second kill from Crit. Okay. He doesn't even use the resonant pull. And if they can get a have double some, here, you're gonna have some warning bells ringing right now because all they see is a timber saw on the top lane. Where's the axe? And they're gonna be moving out as they see that information happen on the map. But still sticking around. And here goes Saberlight called onto the backless blast off coming out as well. Down to half. Oh, they coming out though. Chris gonna be falling. Can they have the damage to turn it around? No, Saberlight don't to the face. Slaps that big fist right down to Magnus. Punches There's a blank in one ground. second here. 
but Moose is there. Sableye want to go for it. He does. Get stunned under the tower, but they're going to go for the play. Darks here going to get blown up by Abed. Red 2, Retaliation onto the Axe. One more hit. Going to get that kill. Abed fighting against Moose and against Red 2. A lot of resources for him here. A lot of mana to work with. Mangoes. He's got stick charges. He's got bottle charges. He's got everything. But he won't get to get that kill. That remnant will keep him busy. Moose, Moose went back. back in. He's like, oh, Abed, please uh -oh. don't. Leave me alone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Or Abed. He just ducks into that tree lane. They're just bringing some extra TP scrolls along the way. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 49 now. Level 6 now. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So what is this global going to do this game? That's going to be the real question. Maybe they can lock down Abed? Oh. Maybe they're trying to kill a crit, but no. Red 2 Moose wants to go for this. You know one he does. Step away. He pops his invis rune here. Abed won't be able to kill off this Void Spirit, or at least uh, punish him. Oh, Axe trying to go for the call. Saber like it's available. Watch mid. Uh oh, Red 2. Going to get scouted out and spotted. Flies going to bring the detection with him. He's going to have to jump away. That is a very good disjoint from the Chain Frost. And that is TA in trouble. Going to lose that Aegis in a matter of moments. And the Lich is also about to drop. But Saberlight coming in with a call, connecting onto the amount of moves as well. Moves going to be going down with a jump from Saberlight. Here comes Abed from the side as well with the Chakram damage. And Bloody Nine forced away. So is DNM. Another blink available in five seconds. Speed. He's going to be in the middle. Red 2 trying to go for the TP out. They locate him oh, though. Oh, they got and him. Crit gets a beautiful blast off connection, canceling the TP. And Abed that was for the blind. Kill. They had no vision there. He just assumed he might be there. Into a tech, he's, he's going to die before he gets his damage off in this game. Yeah, it's like the idea for this guy to play this game is having Darks here going around. But right now, Darks is getting called by Saberlight. RP will connect, catching both of them. Mines are exploding under their feet. Disarm on both of them as well. The vacuum does pull them in and speed to get the kill. Meanwhile, Abed will finish off Moose with the rest of the boys. And also maybe Red 2, uh-oh, Void needs to get out. If he only wasn't silenced, he's got no defensive tools available. Might have lost your axe and your techies, but you're gonna lose also your mid hero. I think his goal is to still get farmed. But when you start bleeding more kills on top of that, losing your towers, it becomes, is it worth it type of situation. But I don't the think it's the stage the of the game where they want to just group up as five right now. And Saber like beautiful call, does connect oh. up to the Void, but DNM for the rescue, that Blade Mail does end up hurting a Red Zoo, kills himself, but before Saberlight gets the kill with that last lucky spin, that Blade Mail, even if DNM comes into the rescue and save him, they're them as well. Soon the Blink, up on the Magnus, Manta style for the Void Spirit, those are going to help a lot, there's a lot of silences that this Void has been uh, hit with. We gotta burst our teeth. Saber Light's oh, actually the target him. again, but he popped his blade mail and Abed also inside that RP. Global Silence popped as well. This is their chance to take down maybe one, maybe two. RTZ hitting in the back line. Blast off, beautiful crit catching four. And maybe it's enough to turn around for a victory or for a rebellion as they take down one, take down DNM as well. Darkseer's already fallen and Bloody Nine and Moose just the supports. That's your fourth. That's Get your him, fifth. Nine. That's a team wipe. Crit turns it around with a beautiful blast off on the techies. Yeah, that was huge for sure. And RTC just sitting back. Nobody is defending mid. Gotta catch three, I think. That's a magic number. Once they're popping, they know they're on the high ground position. They've been spotted into the Roche pit. Uh -oh. Nobody there. Silenced up as well. You've and disaster gone. strikes. Huge nukes coming in from Rebellion. Global Silence allows them to fight back. Back wall into the RP. Beautiful the three. play from Dark Champ. That's what they needed. Fear coming out as well. Abed going to be caught in that. And he's got no way out, really, trying to fight back. But he's going to lose his life at Dark Champ. What a start for the fight. Rebellion getting a beautiful beginning in deal terms of dealing damage. But that vac wall, that's, uh, they have a chance of turning it around. Because Red 2, he's a big damage dealer, for sure. Uh, Nullifier would have buffed it up even more. But I guess right now, they're just relying on the whole uh, core trio to do the work. DNM always going to get caught, actually, here. Does that the RP has got two this time instead of one. And they're turning it around for the fight. But they also take this down Red good. 2. That blade mail really hurts. And DNM speed. They're both very low at HP. The Ogre's still told it back to the high ground. They're going to take down Crit in the low ground, though. And inside the wall, DNM going for the teleport. But Saberlight calling two. Takes down the other. Oh, geez, and he's he still just 
Oh, 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 down on the ground. DNM won't be able to pick it up, and he's left all by himself. And another beautiful call cancels out the skewer from DNM. And that is to, oh, but basically just a lot of money going in the way of Saberlight. A triple for the Axe. And that's that count. What a team fight from Saberlight. What a beast. Salvaging this game entirely for Rebellion as things weren't looking great. You're playing against the Aegis. You could lose the team fights, but I guess we have to do an honorable mention to Fly too, as I just He's cursed him to, to death. Or did nope. I? No, you go. Nope. That's my boy right there. <laughs> okay. It and takes that's some exactly. time, but they covered the gem. There we go. Well, plus one. The reason why that fight went so well is I think he got that sinister gaze off on the madness right when he went in, delaying the time it took. Fourth perfect start for the fight. Magnus getting caught. No BKB available for now, but he will get it just this time. RP only ult to two, but it might just be enough for them to blow up these two targets, but no follow up damage. They're trying to disengage. Rebellion on the chase still. Fighting two separate fights. Red 2 in the river. Caught by Saberlight. Fly is going to be dropping to Red 2. And still battling it out. RTZ just hunting for targets to hit right now. Could be okay. Oh, still chasing Saberlight. He's going to be low. They're going to take down the axe. He's got no chance to come back. But at least Fly returning to the battle. Bloody Knight getting hit by the Melt Strike. Disarm coming out onto RTZ. And it's speed. Red 2's got He's the still cheese. got a vacuum available. Red 2 still battling it out. RTZ low on HP. Going to be dropping fear coming out as well. They're going to take him. They might be able to take down Abed. He's still battling it out. For his last, last, last HP that he still has, still 700 as well for Red 2. So he's got the silence on the resonant pulse now too. That's gonna hurt, especially the supports. They didn't go for the horn toss, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes <I> on you. <laughs> Jokes on you. We got hard poo. Uh -oh, Don't need that. Rebellion. It's Fly on the front. Red no buyback. Two deletes Fly. Goes in for the next target as well. Global Silas back. There it is. The Wombo combo comes out again. Dark Chap cleaning on Rebellion. Can they get these kills? They're so low. Yes, they can. And RTZ sliced down as well. Dark Chap. They're really playing out of their hearts. But Rebellion, they did. They did hand this out for what Dark Chap. They walked into their arms. Fly gets deleted, then they got the back wall RP combo onto three, the magic number fear, and, and they one. get crit. And into Bolivian, the techies goes, and you got no buyback here. You're playing versus Magnus and Void Spirit, perhaps. The Havoc Ten Hammer. seconds on the Aegis. Aegis the is Havoc expiring. Hammer is just being a counter for the Harpoon here. Every time he gets close with the harpoon, he just drops the hammer down a DNA. He will skewer into the wrong direction, or at least he doesn't have anybody with him. Oh, again. Abed. Oh, they got to jump out, and they will take down the mag. He's just uh -oh. gone. Dog champ. Oh, they're in shambles right now if they lose more heroes here. Rebellion going for the chase. Abed. Maybe they can get a kill on the Axe, but it's looking rough right now. They get one. Can they get more? Arteezy gets another refraction out, but they're trying to corral, trying to get together. Clump on top of this Templar the buyback Assassin, on the and Arteezy down. This is all coming out with DNM returning with the buyback and fighting back with five Corgis. Some angry Corgis you got here, Dog Champ. Abed going in for the kill. Takes down Bloody Nine, but he also buys back. Two heroes down. Dog Champ back in full strength. Can they do it? They're so All close right now. Dog Champ going for the win here. Red 2. He's in the front. Abed. Throws out the Hex. Throws in the Chakra. Again, the Havoc Hammer. Actually, the, the Blink comes out, so the Harpoon doesn't quite connect. Meanwhile, Fly's already down. Speed finds a freebie for himself with the help of Red 2. And Abed gonna get RP'd up. They're gonna try and go for the raw right clicks through the Simber Saw. And Abed down, comes in for the buyback. And they've got 50 seconds for Axe, for Techies to return. Blitz is a buyback though, and comes back in. Right, mistake to force this. RP still 70 seconds away. Tier 4 tower, dropping low, Dog Champ. They're chilling, they're being super careful about this. Don't want to make another mistake. They will disengage. But Abed goes in aggressively, surprises them with that jump. And here comes Saber. Let us look at the call into Willow. Willow going to go down. Moose is already out of play. Five versus four. Rebellion. Can they fight back? Can they strike back with more kills? Bloody Nine. Global Silence. Go for the TP away. But Saber like PKPs. He calls. And he takes down Bloody Nine. That's two gone on the side of Dog Champ. And they have to retreat. Rebellion. Now from Dog Champ. DD is about to run out. 
Rebellion's throne is exposed here. There is no towers. Mega creeps are coming in. It's all in now. It's all in. Rebellion, they need to win this one. They need to win it fast as well. Creeps are already inside the base. Meanwhile, Fly going to be on the start of the position from the Twin Gate. Red 2 going to jump in. Lich going to get the lead right at the start of the fight. He's going to be out. Four versus five for Rebellion. Global Silence coming out as well. Into the pit they go. The vacuum comes out, but the BKB is already used by RTZ. By Saber, they're going to get the call onto DNM. DNM going to get saved for a little bit longer, but he's low. Gets the RP out. They're going to get the fear follow up from Moose as well. They're trying to get these kills. Rebellion, they're going to lose the axe. They're going to lose the techies. The timber to fall. And only on. Marteze getting out to hold the to creeps alive the inside the base. But Dog Champ win the fight. Take Roshan. And Red and Two's in there. The he tools. got Arteezy. Red Two snipes Arteezy. And there's the GG call. Dog Champ, they've done what no else has done in this tour. And they tie up the series. They're going to game number three with Dog Champ and Rebellion. What a yeah, there you see it moves. It's just like, is this serious mode time for uh, Rebellion? Anyway, the storylines are as following, basically. So Rebellion 7 zeros this one with a victory. Uh, as Nouns, following. Nouns will Moose not have a contender. Nouns will not have a contender for Dog Champ. Yeah, let's talk about that in a second. As Moose is going to go down, so Rebellion finding that early first blood. Um, basically, I think the big one is looking at right now. Starting with our early laning stage here, Ember already up with 7 CS uh, in that mid lane matchup. Bloody Knight is also a bit of trouble here, but Saberlight does get stunned up by DNM in the bot lane. Silencer, he, we talked about Marana having a bit of an easier time with this matchup against the two. Moose is already down for the second time this game. Oh, not off to a very hot start here. Not really having the dream laning stage, that's for sure, but speed, he's surviving. Arteezy's yeah, been doing a really good job at, of course, he got first blood with helps, and that's just an outplay. <laughs> yeah, that is just a direct outplay. And Abed, you're really frustrated with Red 2 in game number one, and having a free time with the harass, basically, here versus the Silencer and the Sven. Saberlight also going to get that first Lotus, so he's got that extra regen with the Ring of Health. Also picked up in the top lane, though. Speed is getting poked he by Arteezy. He wants that Lotus. He didn't get it on the first time. He'll get it on the second, but he's surrounded. And he will run out of HP. Lion Arteezy finding yet again another kill. That's three kills. I'm oh, sorry, two kills in this lane. Of which well, his first blood was the third at the start of that matchup. DNM going down to the oh, bottom no. lane. Crit finding a succession. And Rebellion, they're just running away with it right now. 2k yeah. lead, five kills. And you don't got the Magnus Void Spirit this time around either. The game is very different. <laughs> very different in terms of initiating. Especially when you have those big items picked up later on in this game. Do you even Abed get to that point two. in the river? Big battle. Abed one versus two. Does he school this he one got through? Him again. He's got the first one and he's looking he's for the second another, moves. He? He's got nothing to work with except the Shadow Realm. But that Flame Guard, it does run out from Abed. However, it's not looking too hot. Fly's also going to be here just Fly just gonna... took it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have to make sure that Abed survives. Might as well. Oh, RTC ping there. Don't aggro the creep wave here. He's applying all this pressure while still keeping the equilibrium in his side. But Bloody Nine is here. But can they even do anything? That's the question. Mildly oh. harassing RTC. Oh, okay. And he gets the kill. Oh, okay. okay. Speed falling asleep there for a second. RTZ going two points into the power shot, seeing a little bit of different build. Oftentimes you will see Boy, can only one as well. Arrow does connect with the blood grenade. Red two, he's gonna need some backup, but he's not gonna survive this battle. And his life is forfeit. Abed looking for the second one with Bloody Nine. Fly is also here with crit. He's gonna get it. Dominating spree for him. Abed will go down. Us. Takes a bit of time, but he finally does end up dropping. So Bloody Nine getting the kill, but this is ten to. Abed is like not even hitting creeps anymore, just going for the, the kills. Too very low on HP here, misses the remnant, a bit shaky right now. And Abed's Abed gonna go roaming for free, here, and he's know. gonna go for this kill. Dissimilate does come through, tanking the tower. Abed gets the aggro off at the time, yep. but flies there for the kill with that uh, that big Nether Blast level three. He can even kill Moose here. Did we talk about Fly being five and zero? I don't know, six and zero maybe. Very close to it. Might get outplayed here. 
Let's see, Bloody Nine's also coming in from the back. Does he get this kill? One more blast available, but he's gonna have to reinitiate onto Bloody Nine, and the turnaround is here. Look at the Nanai, and Moose is gonna get the Nanai <laughs> as he gets the aggro pulled off a of fly getting the camp. And they will also lose Bloody Nine to Crit and Abed. And he'll just keep fighting. You beat him up, he's like, I don't care, I'll get back up, we'll keep fighting. He's got a fighting spirit, that's for sure. Triple net worth lead as well, going in the way of Rebellion here at the early eight minutes. Bloody Nine in trouble. Arrow coming through after the change. They did take down Fly. Silence are about to drop. Abed gonna chase him down. Moose battling it out with Crit on the high ground. And Red 2, he's under leveled. He's two levels behind Abed right now, and he's just beating this guy up. Waiting for that to simulate to come out. Not following it up with the chains. Still has the resonant pulse of Crit coming from behind. But Abed, he's teleporting home. Gonna get the regeneration. Returning with the remnant, he's gonna get hit by that Aether remnant right away. And oh, he misses the, the chains, chains, and he misses the slight too, so Red 2 gets out. Not enough range with that level 1. Tried to get on the edge of the AoE there, couldn't get it. What did you expect? TZ and Saberlight making the magic work. Surprise twin gameplay from Saberlight there, getting that kill. 15 kills in 9 minutes, make it 16 by the looks of it as Red 2 in trouble in the mid lane, getting caught by the arrow, doesn't have time to cast that to simulate, he was trying to, it's not enough. It's okay, you know, this is, um, this is like on, I mean, it's worse than the last game, but we saw a dog champ fly, a little bit of trouble here, he's got to finish him though, or yep, that's gonna happen. Not the Bramble. Oh, it's gonna not catch Fly. It doesn't catch either, really. It goes onto Abed with that Flame Guard. He's still gonna go down. And a Silence coming out from Bloody Nine trying to help out his buddy, but Abed's just like, oh, I'm hungry for more. This guy's already got seven kills. Absolutely on fire. And the Ancients are there, but it just makes Crit's job much easier. Right, too. Notice the stacks as well. But as I was saying, the last to farm these camps. Comes Arteezy, does get the Shackle Shelf to cancel the Timber Chain. He's gonna get hit by a lot of Maelstrom procs here from Arteezy. They get healed up by Fly. Silence comes out as well. Targeting the Wind Ranger right now. Speed with that Chakram gets a good burst in, but they can't get the kill just quite yet. Fly giving it some extra, but they will lose speed. They're gonna lose Red 2 in the river, and the enemy's they can't trying lose his spin. best, but he's stunned up and he's going for the run away. Moose trying to help him out with. The Bramble Maze on Abed, looking for that slight, but he's still four seconds on cooldown. Goes for the dive with the that gets stunned up. Chains comes out as well, power shot, and Abed slices him down with those right clicks. Dodging out the stun as well, looking for the kill on Moose, but he's still tanking the tower. Heavy heads coming in, Abed's gonna go down, but Moose is gonna clean out that team wipe. Timber saw literally just respawned. Rebellion just getting kill after kill after kill. It's getting pretty out of hand now. Where is your RP? Where is your call? There oh, there's is. your RP right there. <laughs> that was for the wrong team. I was going to say, where's your RP <laughs> slash vacuum combination to get you back in this game? As Dog Champ is their best team fight is. And it's them. easy. Going to get jumped by Red 2. Gets the connection with the Remnant, but he's running around with that Midnight. They have no detection. Uh, moonlight, even, Shadow. <laughs> Need <a> light. <laughs> And meanwhile, speed. Another attempt in the other lane. This one's going to be successful. Rebellion. They've got more damage than Dog Champ has. HP. I don't know, man. Six to twenty-six. Fourteen minutes in. Know. It's a pop game. <laughs> Rebellion. It's definitely one of those. Uh, we'll wait to see if Dog Champ can make something happen. Type of games. As for now, Red 2 gonna go down again, sitting 1 and 8. Ah, Silencer down 1 and 6, Speed down 0 5, Sven 0 3, and Dark Will. The only one with the score that is got some kills on it, really. 3 and 7, but that's a lot of deaths, too. Speed just so delayed the crit there. That is. Was, uh, farming under the tower there. Okay, down. okay. So that Speed was sense. 0 5 and 0. That was his first participation in this game. So that's good. Getting some, and he's going shards, next item. He's going straight flamethrower. Okay. Needs all that damage he can get right now and... Two. Oh, oh okay, hunt Red two. Here Into the Harpoon RP, onto oh, the Void Spirit, <laughs> and he's just gone. 
This man doesn't speed. give up. Speed gonna get caught too. Shot is there. Bullying saber line on the side is Moose, but there's an arrow flying in. Not gonna connect this time. Speed taken down by Arbet. And Moose is gonna be the next one to be caught in the river. Shockwave not gonna connect, but crit. He's gonna keep his eyes open for this willow. Trying to salve up and trying to run away, but it's a futile attempt. Artizi coming Artizi. in with a typical carry contribution. Yeah. RTZ now 7 0 and 7. On this Wind Ranger carry, a bit different results compared to DNM back in that first game. Hey. Silas King pops. Trying to save his buddy Sven. Also, almost getting a kill onto the Embers Bridge. Trying to TP home. He's going to get it. Right, Bloody Nine's not going to get that TP home as he goes down. I don't know what to speed. compare this game to. Trying to fight back with that flamethrower. Really trying to get yeah, his everything. It turns out here. it's not as strong as Focus Fire. Nope. And they caught Moose. Uh, Rebellion has more than two <laughs> kills per minute alone. I'm trying to find some things for Dog Champ to say to really encourage them back into this game, but this is like one of the, what would you even compare this to? It's like being that was pretty funny actually. <laughs> Oh, so this is a small victory, right? Red well, 2, Abed, he, he sees him. Okay. Can you run if you're Red 2? Nah, you're not going anywhere, son. Nope. No, sir. Abed denies the opportunity for it. There goes the Timber Saw, maybe. Arrow? As well. Arrow. Oh, barely. Close off. one. And the male procs ain't gonna be enough. There's a Pavis built up on Bloody Nines. So speed gets the protection to make his way out. Next target to be found, DNF. Maybe he gets a kill of crit, trying his hardest. Global silence. And he's gonna get it. There we go. Solid streak being cut away. And silence are gonna be caught right after. Abed also takes down Moose. Speed's trying to turn around. He wants this RTZ kill. He really wants it. He's Lock. taking more damage than he's dealing. Fly is there. You already use your global. That's kind of their opening that they have is. They got to shut down. They only killed crit because they globaled, right? Because fly would have... has to dodge the arrow. One more second. Still can't get the blink off, but he's going to hmm, outrun them with the war cry. And he goes back to farming, but they're still chasing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. That was amb ambitious. Look who's behind here. Uh-oh. Saber Saberlight. Saber light. Oh, bloody nine. That's another one. Fly is building another there. killing spree. <laughs> yeah, that one Pugna right click getting the kill, huh? Yep. In the tormentor. All right, you gotta find the kill global. It's up in 30 seconds. Jump with the spin. You got oh, the they found Arteezy. Is this, is this the way back into the game? Red 2 is already down. He's low on HP, gonna get stunned up, and Moose will get All a right. big paycheck. Classic Arteezy. DNM wants to go in. He finds Fly. Gonna get the initiation. The damage is there. The harpoon is going. We're, I don't even know what I'm We're saying back, at this baby. point. I'm so speechless. But uh, that's another And this is exactly what happened last game with our team. Why? He's getting close. Yeah, he's got eight. What do we got? Abed in there? Yeah. Abed, 10. Oh, look and, this. okay, Magnus, we got the damage for this? Uh, uh, no. Very futile attempt. RP, that's a long stun. Pushing him closer to Abed. All right, two. He's out. I'm, I'm really just looking at DNF at this point. Like, wh where, when does he go in and what does he do? I feel like he's got the biggest. There it is. Out. Output an impact. Speed gonna get caught by the arrow. He's found he fly, but at the same time they're gonna lose the timber saw. Gets Pavis buffed by Bloody Nine, but it's not gonna be enough. And now he's hunted down by the Ember Spirit. Going in on the Ember, trying to get some early damage. It's just through Tower helping him out here. Abed does drop low, but he wants this kill on the Silencer. Global Silence being popped as well. DNM, he's back in, and he's gonna go start slicing and oh, dicing. Focus fire he's gonna lose his HP to RTZ. He was waiting for that focus fire all his life, and he got it. Going into the, fountain, the fountain here, too. Why not? They got chains available. Red 2, almost getting Abed. Almost getting Abed, that is. Maybe hey, now. Abed? Nope. Uh, not through the flame guard. This is definitely one of those games three. that has been spiraling out of control for a while. Going to reach its inevitable conclusion pretty soon here if Rebellion keep this pace up without diving the fountain. But you never know. It's easy with the Aegis. Oh, okay. the uh -oh. run BKB. The turnaround yeah, get out. in the fountain, Artur. Get in there. <laughs> it's all they need. Speed going to get killed. 
Dog Champ. Two lanes of Rax already down. Third lane would have to go through a tier 2 tower, which Rebellion is setting their sights on for now. Not just going to straight up rush those tier 4s out of the way. Jump on to Abed. New damage coming in. Abed's in their base. There the we tower. go. And Moose again gets the kill. <laughs> He's got two big streaks this game. Like pulling a harpoon play doesn't work out. If harpoon did like 30 damage, oh, that they should definitely buff it to cancel blinks. It's not yeah. strong enough. Yeah, it's nearly not strong enough. Okay, RP. Oh, out. RP That's not hit gonna nothing. Miss. No, I mean it is gonna miss. <laughs> it's just not gonna <laughs> connect on anything. Why is dropping low? Who's again getting another kill for himself? Meanwhile, Red 2 gonna get blown up by the focus fire from RTC. He's, He's got no ulti though. Timber saw trying to stand his ground, but he will lose his life. Yeah, Red 2 going in. He wants the Sagus. He wants a bad, but he can't even take it. He was standing still pretty much that entire fight. He's gonna Skill die back. Arrow. And oh, DNM. Man. He wants crit. The one target that he wants, but he's just leaping away. Bloody Nine getting hunted in his high ground, though, by RTZ with that Aegis. And there goes Moose. He's going to blow up the Aegis. He's got it. Meanwhile, DNM still chasing Crit inside the tree line. And he's just getting. Oh, man. He's he's adding Bracers here. Need to pick it up, though. The last, rain of rack, last lane of Rax to fall. Game two was definitely a show from Dog Champ, but Rebellion, they took any slim chance away of losing this series in this game three. They've just been uh, in a commanding position from start to finish. 55 kills in 26 minutes. That, if they, if Dog Champ made a statement in game two, this is a statement from Rebellion to clean out this series. Yeah, it definitely is. For game number one, it wasn't even commandingly. It looked pretty good for Dog Champ. I'm sure, they lost the game. And then game number two, they brought it back and won it. And this game number three, though, a massacre. This is maybe what people would have expected for game number two after that rough start in game one. But nope, they brought it back here. But unfortunately, all serious mode for Rebellion here.